talking about the physiology of slalom. There are many types of exercise in this work, but the two we are talking about are anaerobic and aerobic. An aerobic exercise is like cardio machines, spinning, running, swimming, walking, hiking, aerobic classes, dancing, cross country, skiing, and kickboxing, and things that get your heart rate up. An anaerobic exercise is a slow, rhythmic movement against a force, like a push-up or sit-up or weighted lift. This is how it is in like slalom. When you are at rest, that is an anaerobic, and throughout the run, it becomes an aerobic because it is more intense. Now we are going to talk about the blood vessels in the body that deal with blood, which are veins, capillaries, and arteries. Arteries take blood away from the heart, veins bring the blood back to the heart, and capillaries are small vessels that lie between the arteries and veins. Next, we will be getting into heart rate, stroke volume, cardiac output, and blood pressure. Heart rate is the number of heartbeats per unit of time, which is usually a minute. The heart rate is based on the number of contractions of the ventricles. Stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped by the left ventricle of the heart in one contraction. Cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped in a certain amount of time. And finally, we're talking about blood pressure. Blood pressure is the pressure of blood in the circulatory system. But before we move on, an interesting fact on cardiac output is when you exercise, the cardiac output goes up because your body needs more oxygen and nutrients to keep your body going. So moving on, I'm going to tell you how blood flow throughout the body increases when an athlete starts exercising. It increases because when an athlete starts exercising, the heart has to work harder to keep blood throughout the body. Also along this line, your blood pressure also increases because you're exercising and working harder. Next, we're talking about how breathing changes when you exercise. Your, your breathing becomes harder because you need to inhale more oxygen and exhale more carbon dioxide. The final thing we're going to talk about is how athletes get an adrenaline rush when they're competing. An adrenaline rush is essential for athletes in a competition. The adrenaline rush is a stress hormone secreted from the adrenaline glands located down the kidneys. Here they are on my diagram. The body goes into a flight or flight response in threatening environments when under stress. This is the end of today's segment.